So I'm starting a channel at 42, and I'm not gonna lie, it does feel weird. It feels like I'm starting late, even though everyone's gonna tell you that it's never too late to start, and I do believe that. I am that camp of you, you're never too late to start, you're never too old, but it feels old. It feels like I'm starting really late. The funny thing is, I, I, I don't think if I was like in my 20s, I would, be, I would be able to do this. I really don't. I don't think I would have the confidence. I don't think I would be able to speak to the camera and not feel just super awkward. Because right now I don't feel awkward and I, I'm not scared of the camera, but it's just the age thing, right? It's like, damn, what if I would have started sooner? What if that would have helped me get my career going or the what I want my career to be? But back then, again, back then, I don't think I was thinking of doing like videos and, and stuff like that. But right now, that's that's really what I want. I, I This is what I want from, from, my, from my life. I want to be able to work for myself. I want to be able to have my own schedule. I don't want to have a nine to five. I don't want to have a boss. I want to be my own boss. And that's what I'm hoping for this channel. I'm hoping that whatever insights I have or whatever for my 42 years is entertaining to you and you'll enjoy it and you'll come back and, and want to see the videos. But time will tell. I don't know. It's it's uh, it's it's an interesting time for me. Uh, another reason for why I want to do this channel. It's not only because I want to be my own boss. Yes, that's that's probably priority one. But a big thing that's happening in my life right now in my nine to five, it's an, it's uncertain in the sense that we were told already that half of us, at the very least, half of us are going to get let go. They don't really know when yet. We don't know yet if it's going to be at the end of the year or sometime this year. So it's uncertain. And either more, more than likely, I'm going to look for another job or try to transfer to another position, but they make it really difficult. And it's just a weird process you got to go through. If you do want to transfer, you still got to apply and you still got to interview, even though they have a program where you can kind of shadow and, and, and learn about the, about the new position for like three months. But then after that, you still have to do the interview. And it's weird because you're already talking to the manager during that time. And you're, they're figuring out if you would be a good fit for, for the team. But for some reason, they still need to go through all the, the corporate stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Uh, I've never gone through that. And so that's an option. But hopefully, by some miracle, if this takes off and this becomes monetized, then I, I doubt it. Even if it does become mon monetized, usually people don't make enough money initially to replace their income we'll see we'll see but I'm, I'm hoping at the very least this this finds an audience and builds a community and it's something that people want to enjoy because i'm going to enjoy doing it i i do like making videos um truth be told just to be transparent i do have another channel so i kind of put in my my reps if you will and so i'm not as newbie i guess but i'm still i'm still very new that channel is not even monetized doesn't even have 200 subscribers it's a very small channel but i enjoy doing it and hopefully I'm going to enjoy doing this and hopefully people are going to enjoy watching me. So if you're wondering, in case you're watching this and if you're wondering why the hell are you sitting in an outdoors lounge chair? I'm going to give you, <laughs> it's a, it's a dumb story and it's an epic fail, but that's how my brain works. I like watching movies, but sometimes, and sometimes I go after work and sometimes I, you know, I go on the weekends. There's times where I'm tired. I don't get enough sleep. And so I want to take a nap, but if I, and I don't have a couch, I live in a studio apartment it's a small place i i don't want to have a couch that's going to take up room and also i want something that can i can move because i have workout equipment and also if i end up do moving to a, a new place i want to be able to just be able to put it in my car basically and with the couch i probably won't be able to do that so if i go to sleep in my bed i'm gonna knock out and I'm, it's going to be a full-on sleep. It's not going to be a nap. So I figured, okay, what else can I do besides uh, buying a sofa? And I figured, oh, a lounge chair. They seem comfortable. They seem like a good idea. They can, they can, uh, they can fold. So and I can move it, move it around pretty easily. So get a lounge chair. And right, that, that sounds like a good idea. And that's what I did. I'm like, okay, cool. And it, <laughs> and that did, it did work. It did work. Maybe like the first two times. After that though, it's so uncomfortable. I like it. It's cool but it's uncomfortable. And so when I try to go to sleep in it, take a nap, all I'm thinking about is like, oh, I can't sleep because it's uncomfortable. So it's just an epic fail. I've only used it a couple times.
times, maybe three times at most, three, four times. And it didn't, it didn't work out as intended. I use it now as like storage. I put things on top of it. So it didn't work out like I wanted, but that's the, the explanation for the lounge chair. I think I'm gonna use this uh, for these videos. Why not? You know, it's a fun little thing to do. Um, it's interesting. Hopefully it's a, something different that people don't see. I have it, might as well use it. Um, so there you go. <laughs> this is the channel. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna talk about my experiences, dating life, things like that, my work experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys come back. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.